guys how's it going welcome to my video all right so we are going to do a quick video on this p050 code if you guys have this code there's a good chance you probably have a misfire on cylinder five in your vehicle and you have a check engine light and your vehicle is running probably really rough all right uh it probably sounds like your your engine is um going to just absolutely uh, get destroyed or whatever. It's just you're just driving really rough right now. Chances are if you have this code, but let's get into this code, why you have it, and what you guys can do about it as far as fixing it. Now, there are um, if you have this P0305 uh, code and it's just a standalone code, you have a check engine light, and this is the only code that comes up. This is probably the best scenario for you because obviously, I uh, already said that it's seven to five that's mi that's misfiring that's what the code is it's it's telling you that seven to five in your engine is misfiring and if this is just a standalone code it's probably one of two things that's causing it either your spark plugs or your coil either the spark plug or your coil now spark plugs are easy to um replace and uh, you could probably just use a metal brush to clean it up, to be honest with you, um, for the most part. But, you know, they're like 10, 12 bucks at AutoZone. The coil itself is uh, anywhere from 140 to 160 at AutoZone. Quite expensive. You actually buy it from the store. But um, if you buy it on eBay or Amazon, they sell these in packs for whatever, how many cylinders you have in your vehicles for like from anywhere from like 40 to 60 to 80 dollars. Uh, we're talking about like four, six, and eight, eight, um, eight packs. So, and a lot of times that actually includes um, all the all all the spark plugs too. So, in any case, if you're in a situation where you want to figure out whether it's, whether it's your spark plug or your coil, obviously, it's your, if it's your spark plug, it's like twelve bucks. You just swap it out, no problem. You want to figure out whether it's your spark plug or your coil. What you guys want to do is, you guys can swap the um cylinder five spark the the uh, coil on cylinder five for another um cylinder where it's where you don't have a code for it's working fine and if you guys find out uh, after turning after erasing the code and if you guys and then turn turning them back on your vehicle if you guys find out that the spark plug the the code changes over then chances are it's probably your coil that's the problem meaning that well if you when you swapped out the bad for the good the 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 problem changes to the bad the cylinder where you put the bad spark plug in however if you don't have a change in the um the code chances are it's probably the spark plug that's the problem but it's really the spark plug that's the problem in a case like this chances are it's the coil that's the issue and um, like I said, um, if you're in this situation, the coils are expensive, the spark plugs are not that expensive. You guys want to just buy some time maybe to get a pack of spark plugs for half the price of what you need or what you need to spend for one single spark plug at, uh, at, at AutoZone or Advanced Auto, any of those places. What you guys can try to do is you guys can probably try to A, clean up the spark plugs with a metal wire. Uh, make sure there's no rust, oil, corrosion, and stuff like that. Clean it up real good. Use some electronic spray cleaner. Spray it on there and uh, just wipe it over. Make sure it's real nice and clean. Put that back in. And what you guys can do also is to spray some um, electronic cleaner inside uh, the coil spring. And use one of these wire metal brushes that you guys can get AutoZone, like five packs for like $6 and come in different sizes. Pop it in, just clean it, make sure there's no corrosion or dirt or anything like that. Pop it back in and hopefully um, you're good for a little bit until you get that spark, that uh, pack of spark plugs and, and, and coils to swap out. And if you guys have this code, um, you guys probably just want to swap out all the spark plugs. It's probably a time. It's probably time to uh, do a tune-up on your vehicle, not just the spark plugs, but the serpentine belt, um, um, whatever else you guys need, the, the um, air filter, whatever else you guys need to to change up. Uh, if you guys have a vehicle that's passed over 100,000 miles. However, if you guys do get a P0305 code with 
um, a couple of other misfiring cylinder codes, maybe one or two others, it could possibly mean that it's just, you know, the spark plugs and the coils are pretty much old uh, and they need to re be replaced. If you get those uh, misfiring and then you get a P0300 code, which is a random misfire, it's a whole different story with that. Um, chances are if you're misfiring all over the place and the misfire changes up depending on when you um, do a scan of your OBD, to, of, of, of your um, PCM, of your car's computer, um, and it swaps, sw uh, it, it switch, switches out as far as the codes are concerned um, on different cylinders, it's probably not your, um, it's probably not the spark plugs or the coils. Chances are it's probably a vacuum leak if you have a random misfire and if you recently got your car worked on or worked in your car you probably want to check to make sure that all the vacuum lines are um, put in the right position and there's no leaks because um, rubber plastic and stuff like that they do go brittle over time um, it could be other uh, things maybe with your um, engine that's causing this issue but definitely you want to just look at all the other codes because it'll give you a good clue as to where to check in a situation like this you I li literally want to um, you really literally want to at this point with a P P0300 code and I don't want to uh, constantly talk about uh, this P0 because that's not what the video is about but if you do, um, if, if you do get a P0300 code with all these um, other codes, then it's probably a bigger issue. And any other codes that come up that you can look for, you can actually do a little, you know, it, it'll give you more of a insight into what's causing it. In any case, um, if you guys have this P0305 code and you guys want to add to this, uh, you have any experiences with this, definitely like, drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know. Um, what you did to fix it, uh, what caused the issue, if there's anything outside the spark plug or the um, of the or the coil. Anyway, leave a comment. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. If you guys aren't a member, uh, consider joining the the the, the channel. Um, always appreciate your support, guys. All right, guys. Take care.